Um, Madam Clerk, please call the roll for attendance. Commissioner Scott. She was here. <laughs> yeah. Commissioner Baker McCormick. Here. Commissioner Marecki. Here. Commissioner Baydoon. Commissioner Anderson. Here. Vice Chair Palomero. Chair Varga. Here. Commissioner Scott, can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Commissioner Baydoon. Commissioner, Pal Vice Chair Palomero. We have a quorum present. Thank you. We will um, be discussing items. We will not vote until we get a quorum. So with that in mind, uh, Madam Clerk, the first item is Chairwoman's remark. Is I'm sorry, can everyone hear me? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. Item the Chairwoman's remarks. Thank you. Uh, congratulations to everyone who uh, had an election yesterday. We all did. Um, and um, I'm looking forward to working with you all for the next couple of years. And uh, I know we're going to do some great things under difficult situations. So I'm really looking forward to keeping us um, as a good working team for, uh, for the Wayne County Commission. Um, that's all I really have right now. Next item. Item C, approval of the minutes of the July 21st, 2020 meeting. We will wait so with move, that Madam until, Chair. Scott. We will wait with the voting on that until oh, we okay. get a quorum. Next item. We, Madam Chair, I think we have a quorum now. Can we double check? Uh, Madam Chair, we do have a quorum. We have a quorum. Okay. In that case, Commissioner Scott moves. Uh, Anderson supports. Anderson supports the minutes. Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? I hear none. Motion carries. Next item. Item D, unfinished business, there is none. Thank you. We're moving to item E1 of new business. Okay. Requesting commission approval of the issuance of up to 250 million of distributable state aid funding bond series 2020. Thank you. Uh, I would like to call on um, our staff uh, first, Mark Abo, and then we'll call on um, the administration. Mark. Uh, yes, what, what this issue, the, the primary uh, purpose of this is we, uh, in 2010, when bonds were issued for the jail, they were issued at approximately $200 million. Uh, there's a significant amount of monies uh, uh, still outstanding on those bonds. They were issued under the Build America bonds um, with involvement with uh, the federal government. Uh, the interest rate it varies, and right now it, it is plus 6%. So we're paying a significant amount of interest on them. When we issued the uh, uh, 2018 bonds for the new jail, the interest rate was 3.91%. So these bonds are now callable. And our, our fiscal advisor has, has proposed that we, we call them and, and reissue these bonds. Uh, and, and I believe that there will be significant savings associated with this in, in the millions of dollars annually. Uh, we won't know until they are actually sold, but uh, this is a great opportunity for, uh, for the county. Uh, and I believe um, our, our CFO, uh, Huey Newsom, is, is um, um, uh, on this, this Zoom call, and I would uh, uh, like to, to get his insights on, on uh, this transaction. Of course. Can we hear from our CFO? Could 
Could you unmute yourself maybe if you are on the line? Anyone else from the administration would like to speak on this? I'm unmuted. Madam Chair, I'm unmuted. Can you hear okay, me now? Great. Thank you. Great. So Good sorry to have you that. with us today. Thank you for having me and thank you for recognizing me. I did want to yeah, you know, I gave a spiel just a second ago in, in the muted phone, but I do want to <laughs> open by saying, say congratulations to all the commissioners um, who um, I know some of you all have some difficult contests, but it's good to see that um, all of you all have prevailed. So congratulations. I look forward to continuing to work with you. Um, you know, Albo, Mark Albo is, is exactly right. As you know, um, this is an excellent opportunity for us to look at um, refinancing all of, all, of, all of our debt, not just the um, 2010s, but also the bonds associated with the, with Guardian, with the Guardian building and First Street parking, as well as some other series. Um, we have been working with our finance, uh, our finance advisors, um, Acacia, um, Noreen White, who was on the phone, um, who is here to take some of your questions. But, you know, the grant, in the grand scheme of things, you all know, and myself along with Khalil have talked as well as the budget team, have talked quite a bit with you all in terms of our situation financially. You know, we are looking at under, uh, we are overturning, looking under every rock that we can to find savings. And, you know, the opportunity is here because of the call, because these bonds are not callable. And so we expect to see a significant amount of savings. To us, it is a, um, you know, it is, it is a great opportunity for us to continue to find ways for the county to remain fiscally solvent. This has always been something that we look to explore. So um, my, you know, my Zoom call keeps going in and out, so hopefully you all can continue to hear me, but I will um, like to open it up for questions, uh, Madam Chair. Sure, we can hear you, uh, committee members. You. Yes, this is Commissioner Baker McCormick. Okay, go ahead. Good morning. Um, thank you, Madam Chair. Callable, when you talk about the, this is the time in which they, the bonds are callable, can you explain that? I, I'm gonna take a stab at it and then I'm gonna let Noreen go into a little bit of detail and fill in the gap. So really what we're saying is we can refinance, pay off those bonds. We can call them or almost like um, prepayment, right, of a bond. And so what we're saying here is that the biggest series that are, that's involved in this is the 2010 jail bonds, north of 150 million, north of 150 million. And because they're callable this year, we're, prep, we're prepping um, to, um, to refinance those. Noreen, did you have anything else that you wanted to add to that? Huey, if I might, if I might add, effectively what uh, yes, it is, is we're, we're going to be issuing. Is, um, Noreen White with the Keisha Financial Group, the financial advisor. Yeah, Noreen, we're having a hard time hearing you. Mark, why don't you go ahead? Yeah, and, and effectively, it. what we're doing is we're issuing new debt, and we're going to use the proceeds of that new debt to pay off more expensive debt. So the new debt that we issue will be at an interest rate more favorable to the county. Uh, what like would that be? Well, it, we don't know yet uh, be, uh, until we see what the what the market really is. But, but the guidance that we have is is uh, uh, more recently issued debt. And in uh, 2018, we issued uh, $300 million worth of debt for the new jail, and the interest rate was 3.91%. So right now, the, the, the interest rate on the, the debt that uh, we're going to be calling is above 6%. So right there is better than 200 basis points or two two percent two percentage points, greater mm -hmm. percentage points against 200 million dollars worth of debt is really significant. Uh, so so that's ultimately what the savings. Okay, so we're looking at reducing it from from six to maybe Hopefully around before. three. Uh, well, yeah, hopefully. three or four. Three, three or right. four. Yeah. Okay, great, great. Yeah. And do have we estimated what is the cost to refinance or or calling them as you uh, use that term? The cost to call them. When you say the cost, you mean the fees associated with that? Exactly. Yes. I see. 
I will let Noreen um, answer that question. I'm going to see if she's on the call. I know she's going to have the – she should have that off the top of her head. Let me see, let me see if she's on. Noreen, are you, are you able to talk now? We lost her. Let's do it this way. Um, the all in, I can, let me get that to you. I'm going to look that up real quickly because I do want to uh, make sure I answer that question. So I'm going to dig it up real quickly. We can go to the next question. Uh, Huey, if I, if I could answer that, my recollection is on, on the last issue is probably a full percentage point. So it, it may be in the range. Of, it may be in the range of around two, two yeah. and a half million. Yeah, I'm trying to dig it up. So, um, hopefully, I answer the question. The um, this is Noreen White. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. We, we can hear, hear you, now, Noreen. Hi. Thank you. Um, okay. Sorry about that. Um, so forgive me if I am if I'm a, a step short here, but the. Um, the all-in interest costs, which includes all the cost of issuance with um, going to market with the bonds, is estimated to be a 390. Uh, and so that will uh, give us um, a, a, a much lower rate than, for example, what's on the uh, recovery zone bonds, where those interest rates on those outstanding bonds range from nine and a quarter to you know, 10 percent. Um, and and as, uh, the, as Mr. Newsom uh, stated, the lion's share of the bonds that we're refunding are the uh, recovery zone bonds, um, of which there is approximately 170 million outstanding. Um, so this transaction, uh, normal metrics for a refunding transaction generally look for you to have at three to five percent of present value savings. And this transaction, when we look at the uh, recovery zone bonds in addition to the uh, guardian bonds, will be generating uh, in excess of 15 percent on a present value basis or roughly 30. Lost that. <clears throat> Lost the last part of your sentence. <laughs> I think she cut out. <laughs> okay, in the meantime, I want to make for the record, Commissioner Sam Baydoon has joined us. And on the list after this is Commissioner Anderson and then Commissioner Baydoon in that order. Okay, let's continue. Is that um, back? Yep. Madam Chair, this and, is this is Kaloba Hall. I is think there another thing question? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. We lost the last sentence when you were speaking. Doreen, you were talking about the all-in savings. Yeah. <laughs> she apparently has a bad connection. Okay. So, what, uh, let me... I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Khalil Rahal? No, yeah, I was going I think Huey was going to answer the question. I think I think the right. one the, the one thing is important to keep in mind is, you know, as Mark Abbo said, you know, we go out, we find out what the interest rate and, and then it just gives us the options. And if the option is we save money, then we save money. Huey, can you explain that a little bit? Yeah. Well, one thing I do want to make sure that we do, though, um, you know, the all, I, I think Commission, Commissioner McCormick, you were asking about the fees. And you know it's they're just north of two million dollars. And remember, we're issue, re, this is an authorization to reissue uh, just right at 240, 240 million. So the fees will be right at two million dollars. And I want to make sure that that question I had that question right, and I did get a chance to answer that particular question. Was that your question? That was it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good. Very good. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Anderson. Yes. To that point, uh, Huey, uh, if you can tell me, uh, is that reflected in the two, $250 million uh, on the issuance. Yeah, that's that, correct. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. cost. So there looks like it's, it comes out to, yeah, almost $3 million. So that's the, about the, what the fee is. Did you say it's, did you say it's 15%? I thought I heard somebody say 15%. 
No, that's the no present value savings. That's the savings. Yeah, not that's yes, yeah, not the percent of the, the fees against the total deal, total transaction. That is just the savings. We're expecting fifteen percent pre present value savings. The, okay. It's uh, I, I think a uh, good idea to do this. We we should always be looking at ways to save money that we're uh, uh, debts that we have, and uh, this is doing just that. Mm -hmm. That's all I have, Madam Chair. I totally agree, Commissioner Baydoun. Good morning, uh, Madam Chair. First, uh, Good morning. I want to apologize for being late. Uh, I sent you a text. I thought I was going to be late. I hope everyone is doing well. I did uh, mention that. Thank you. And um, I think uh, the gentleman alluded to a couple of my uh, questions about the closing cost to refinance these bonds is about 1%, and that 1% would be rolled in, I believe, with the refinance. Uh, but I may have missed the first part. Is there, uh, if these are due right now, maybe they are not due, is there a prepayment penalty to refinance these bonds? We're, we, the transaction would take, play, take place in such a way that we will avoid that. And that's what uh, I think the original, the, uh, the uh, previous question talked about the callability and that's what, what we're doing. Now that the bonds are callable, we're setting up the transaction so that we can um, avoid a prepayment penalty and get maximum savings. Okay, great. Because that's that's that could be a big uh, big amount if there's a prepayment penalty on such a big uh, 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 balance on on the bonds. Okay, that answers Absolutely. the question. Thank you, Madam Chair. Sure. Anyone else? Any committee members? Madam Chair, if there's no other questions, I'll move to approve. Support. And I'll support Scott. Commissioner Anderson. Scott Anderson and, and um, Scott. Commissioner Martha G. Scott uh, supports. Um, I see one. I have to check the chat, see if anyone's in there. Um, I see no other hands, so no discussion. Anyone else want to discuss it, just to be sure? Okay, in that case, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Scott? Yes. Commissioner Baker McCormick? Yes. Commissioner Marecki? Yes. Commissioner Baydoun? Yes. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Vice Chair Palomera? Vice Chair Palomera? Chair Varga? Yes. I know this one. I know this would be a yes for Commissioner Palomero when he joins us. We'll ask him his intention would have been on this one. Thank you. Next item. Item E2, requesting commission approval of budget adjustment 2020-35-194, reallocating expenditures in the general fund. Thank you. Who would like to speak on this? This is Kamal Kepru, Management and Budget Finance Director. This for the vet veterans. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is that for the outreach position. This position will assist the director um, and, and veterans to do outreach around the county, informing people about vet our veterans department. Okay, now mm -hmm. I would like to emphasize that all of the parts of the county are important. So uh, I want to make sure that the Western Wayne, the, the, all of the areas would be covered by uh, this outreach person. What are we doing for locations? Uh, or how are we going to do this outreach? Or are you privy to that information? Um, I can just tell you the little I know. And I'll make sure, um, Kwesi, Besser, I get that, get your point. But I know he's hitting all points of, of the county as of right now. Um, in reference to location, the last time I, we talked, that he was basically gathering data and looking at what's the best area. And that's where me and him left off on the conversation, where he's at. Now I'm not sure, but I'll make sure he get that information and, and follow back up. I think most of our most of our commissioners would agree, uh, at least a couple of us here on the commission, that 
We've had some free spaces offered in different parts of the county. And I know Commissioner Anderson had some spot um, in, um, in one of his cities and I'll let him talk on that. But I believe the mayor of one of the cities offered free spot, um, free office space. So I would love to see that outreach person go there maybe one day, go to another location, another what, another day where it would be a, like a set schedule. So we could all tell our veterans where they can go on what days. And if it's scheduled um, on the same days in certain areas, that would certainly make it easier for them to provide or get transportation from others to get them to those locations. And so pre-planning would be a lot easier for them. And uh, I know that uh, that would be important to um, most, if not all the commissioners. So I'd like you to take that back. Well, I know you're listening. Who should he reach out to? Madam Chair, this is Commissioner Baker McCormick. I yes. just wanted to uh, let you know we are having a uh, meeting on this coming uh, Thursday okay. um, and we will talk to some of those issues. So you are invited to attend. Okay. Since mm -hmm. we're doing the budget today and we're allocating the money, I want to make sure that the commissioners who are concerned are going to feel comfortable in voting for this uh, with the answers given. Uh, Commissioner Anderson. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. I, I, I you know, it, here we are on the verge of having to approve another budget and, uh, you know, yearly annual budget. And that money was allocated last year for that position. And I, I agree with you 100% that Western Wayne needs to have some uh, access veterans in Western Wing uh, to uh, that representative to, to be able to meet with them. And, uh, and, and I know the mayor offered in, in Westland, offered the location, City Hall, uh, the director or the uh, uh, director of that department indicated that that was uh, satisfactory. Uh, but I, I've never, if he would, uh, if he could get in touch with me, I'd be happy to meet him at that location and another location to see if we can't make that happen. Uh, because he said the privacy issue was uh, was one problem. Uh, but I, I know there's other uh, locations in the city hall building, uh, which is all on one level. Uh, and uh, so it's very uh, handicapped accessible. Uh, but there's also another location in Norwayne, which is actually in uh, Commissioner Hades's district portion of Westland. Uh, so I'd hope that he'll reach out to, to me to see if we can't get this issue resolved once and for all. Thank you. I'll, I'll get him to know, make sure he, he know to contact you, Commissioner Anderson. I appreciate it. Thank you. And Thank motion you. to approve Baker McCormick. Okay. And Commissioner it's Baker support. McCormick, I know that you will uh, carry our message. Uh, Definitely. Uh, in your committee that it's important for us to, uh, we're all inclusive, Wayne County is very friendly to everyone and our veterans should be uh, number one to be able to get to places that are most favorable to them. And um, with that, uh, Commissioner Baker McCormick moves and supported by- Scott. Scott. Uh, to approve, uh, clerk, any more discussion? Anyone else from the administration who wants to chime in before we vote? No, okay. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Scott? Yes. Commissioner Baker McCormick? Yes. Commissioner Marecki? Yes. Commissioner Baydoon? Yes. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Vice Chair Palomera? Chair Varga? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Next item. Item three, a presentation by Wayne County Treasurer, Eric Sabree. 
Welcome, Mr. Wayne County Treasurer. Congratulations on your victory yesterday. Good morning, and you know, thank you, and congratulations to all commissioners on their Good morning. Um, re-election uh, yesterday. Thanks a lot. Um, thank you for appearing before us on uh, such short notice, and uh, please give us um, your update. Okay. I also have uh, with me today uh, our Chief Deputy Treasurer, Jean Vier Adams, and um, she uh, will probably give a few comments um, before we conclude. So you can also, if you have questions for both of us, uh, we're both on. We're both on the call on the Zoom. I'm sure we will. Okay. Thank you. Um, on July July 17th this year, Supreme Court, Michigan Supreme Court, issued an opinion in the Raffaelli versus Oakland County case. This is a long-awaited decision. We've been waiting. We were waiting for this decision for over six months, and it overturned a long-standing precedent that allowed for closing governmental units, which is the county treasurer, in this in our case to forward funds to the county general fund that were obtained from tax foreclosure sales. And the court held that foreclosed taxpayers, these are the former owners, uh, they are entitled to funds which would generally be sent back to the, gen would be sent to the general fund, the county's general fund, if the tax foreclosure sale of their property generates a surplus above the taxes, interest, fees, and the cost of foreclosure of their property. This is a big decision. It's, it's gonna affect all counties, everyone in the state of Michigan. So um, we're looking, at, we are, we're meeting with Corporation Council. It's gonna be, uh, this matters. We have three similar cases in Wayne County right now. And uh, there's, there's issues of class action lawsuits, so forth. We're meeting with Corp Council. We, uh, we have interviewed some outside counsel, some outside firms. That decision to select outside counsel is, is going on as we speak. Uh, so this is going to be a matter that uh, is going to affect us. But like I said, we're, we're going to work with Corp Council who, and outside counsel to uh, develop a strategy. And um, I'm here to open up for any of your questions. Thank you. I'm looking for hands up. Uh, Commissioner Anderson. Uh, I, w welcome, uh, Eric, and congratulations. Uh, uh, happy to see you uh, returning, absolutely. Uh, uh, I did want to uh, ask, uh, do you have a, any idea of an estimate of what it's going to cost Wayne County? Um, and, and well, I, we're, we're still verifying our numbers. We have an idea, but we're verifying our numbers to make sure before we actually release the numbers because it can go back the uh, if it's if it's retroactive, in which we feel it, it could be, um, it could go two years all the way up to six years. So we're mm -hmm. verifying our numbers to be sure before we start releasing numbers that um, how much uh, we could be liable for. Um, we know that it's going to be prospective, you know, going forward. Next auction we have, we know it's going to address that, but we're not we're not sure. And this involves our legal strategy and, and our, our argument, how far back, if any years it goes, it goes. And that will affect uh, existing dollars that we have. Did the court in their ruling uh, not indicate how far back that we'd have to go? No, no, the court did not indicate. They referred it back to the Oakland County Circuit Court to okay. actually go through all the details and figure that out. So we're going to we're going to be arguing in our in Wayne County Circuit Court with the cases that are similar to ours, and if anyone's trying to certify a class, then that'll be part of our our legal defense. I I, I want to thank you and, and just to remind members of the commission that we talked about this. I think wasn't it last year uh, that yes. you brought it to us and mentioned it that uh, that that was on the horizon or at least early this year. And uh, I appreciate you doing that. Thank you. Thank are you. you. Done? Are you done, Commissioner Anderson? Yeah, that's all I have. Thank you. Okay, our wonderful chair of the commission, Commissioner Bell, joined us, and she would like to speak. Good well, morning, everyone. How are you? Good morning, good morning. chair. Great. Um, and actually, um, you just spoke to a treasurer, Sabri. Uh, I was going to talk about the fact that we don't know whether it's going to go back six years um, or not. And that's going to be um, 
you know, devastating if it does go back six years. Um, we, we can anticipate if it's, if it's prospective, as you stated. But do you have any idea when the court will um, make that determination? We don't know. We're working with our attorneys. John Vera, you want to add anything in this time? Um, no, I, I just think that the first steps will be procedurally trying to determine um, what the look back period will be as part of the defense. So it would be early on in the proceedings as we move forward. Yeah, and unfortunately that puts us in the pickle because without knowing if they're going back or not, um, that gives us some interpretation on how we go forward with our budget and your office, of course, and how much you have in your budget. So um, hopefully we'll get an answer to that sooner than later so that we can budget appropriately. Yeah, we're, Thank we're you. Looking, looking forward to, to an answer soon. Thank you. Madam Chair, this is Commissioner Baker McCormick had a question. Okay, but we have Commissioner Baydoon had his hand up. Okay. And then, and then you next. That's okay. I can yield uh, for Bacon McCormick. It's okay. Uh, and then I'll come back. Go ahead, the Commissioner. Oh, thank you, Commissioner Baydoon. Uh, just uh, wanted to clarify if uh, the appeal process, if, if there's any left at this point. I don't, I don't know if there's any, if it, I know they're not in Michigan, but Javier, you may want to uh, uh, speak to that. Well, for the Raffaelli case, it's, there's no further appeals for that case. And the cases that are against um, the Wayne County and, and the treasurer um, are in their early stages. They were stayed pending the Raffaelli decision. So depending on the outcome of those cases in the circuit court, um, there may be an opportunity to appeal on certain issues that were not covered under the Raffaelli opinion. Okay, and would that address the number of years that um, we're looking at it um, being retro? That could be. Okay, thank you. Also, I wanna to add to the commissioners that the, uh, the, the actual foreclosures, it's the foreclosure itself on these properties um, was questioned uh, by some already in court, and uh, we prevailed in, in that. But this issue uh, became uh, regarding Raffaelli was as a constitutional taking, and not the fact that the foreclosure was was uh, improper. Okay, Commissioner Baker McCormick, are you done? Yes, I am. Thank you, Madam okay. Chair. You're welcome. Commissioner Baydoun. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, uh, Haji Eric Sabri, first of all, congratulations on your victory last night. Uh, I'm Thank glad you. to see that you're coming back. Um, um, Mr. Sabri, have we done any calculations as to what the exposure might be for, for Wayne County? For example, if it was like you know, if they need to go back like one year, what would the amount be? Two years, three years, or six years? Have we done any calculations? Uh, well, we, we like have. Like a worst we, case we, scenario, we, like a worst case scenario, so to speak? We're, we're just verifying our numbers right now. I mentioned just earlier that we're verifying our numbers. Before we release any numbers, we want to make sure and we want to confer with our attorneys uh, before we release any numbers uh, regarding our possible liability. We're, we're just verifying the numbers right now to make sure. Okay. Commissioner Bajun, I would yes. add that there, there are a lot of variables um, to be considered in determining what uh, the exposure is. And we're gonna need some guidance from the court from, for that, even as we determine what the surplus numbers were for each year, we will still need further guidance as to what expenses they will allow us to deduct um, as we go forward. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I know we have our Auditor General with us. Are there any questions you need to ask, Marcy? No, I'm good right now. Just trying to get what the worst case scenario could be. Okay, thank you. Sometimes we forget that you're on the line with us. So <laughs> chime, in, chime in as you need to. Thank you. <laughs> you're a very important role of um, you serve a very important role with us, so I just want to make sure you feel included. All right, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh-huh. 
Anyone else? Uh, any other committee members? I'm going to take the prerogative uh, to have someone have a question answered, and I don't know what it means. Uh, in the chat, it says, where are the employees going to come from? And I'm not sure what that means. So under public comment, normally we don't go back and forth. So let me take that issue up under such other matters. So if you're listening from um, ask me, please stay on the line and we will do this under other such matters. Madam Clerk, um, is there anything else, Mr. Treasurer, that you would like to add? No, not, not at this time, Madam Chair. Like I say, we're working with our attorneys and we should have a more comprehensive report as soon as we uh, gather you know, information uh, through the attorneys and get back to you. I know that you will keep uh, me informed and I know you will uh, also keep uh, our chair of the commission informed uh, on your progress. And as soon as you have new information that you can share, I know that you will knowing that we're gonna be working on the uh, next year's budget and plugging the holes for this year. And uh, you really have played a um, large um, part of that um, in the past and we look forward to uh, us working uh, together to resolve all of these issues. So feel that we're all in the same boat and whatever we can do to assist, uh, we stand ready as I know that you are to make sure that we move Wayne County forward on a positive note. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We know how critical it is and uh, you'll be informed. As, as we get informed, we'll, we'll share that information. Thank you. Right. Any other committee members that would like to ask some questions, discussion? Already, this is just a discussion so we don't have to vote on it. Uh, next item. Item F, such other matters as may be properly submitted before the committee. Okay, I would like to ask um, a special privilege for someone from AFSME uh, who asked the question, where are the employees going to come from? Under such other matters, we can discuss this, but we can't do it under public comments. So if you're on the line, uh, unmute yourself or someone unmute and ask the question. Yes, um, I'm sorry, that came um, when you were speaking under Veterans Services, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, this is President Buffington. I had made a comment as to the bonds being cashed also. I was asking about the HSA payment that we hadn't received by Wayne County Labor in regards to them claiming they can't pay the HSA for the employees. I was wondering what the bonds being cashed what would occur with that. But in regards to veteran services, I have one social worker in that department. Prior to COVID-19 occurring, um, I had two that were still there in this department and Mr. Kwesi was trying to open this up to the county. And we were informing them that two people could not do this job. He indicated to us that Wayne County did not have the monies and he went before the budgetary when you guys were in the basement um, earlier this year, and he was asking for the, vote, uh, the budget to be voted on. I never knew the result of this issue. I'm just now finding out today that this budget was voted on, but Mr. Kwesi indicated that he didn't have the budget to put another employee there. Now I have another employee that's being displaced. I have one young lady doing this job. She can't go out county to Western Wayne and be downtown at 400 Monroe. So that's why I'm asking, where are the employees going to come from? Uh, everyone's laid off and okay. he's asking for money and it's a hiring freeze. I don't understand the situation. Okay, we'll look into it and, uh, and get back with you uh, on that. And um, uh, I had in the past, and I'm going to go out on the limb here, um, I have asked how many of our veterans being serviced are serviced by veterans. And um, 
so I'm not sure. Um, and I also asked in the past to work with the unions to see if there are other positions that could merge uh, so no one gets laid off um, if we intend to give more services uh, with service personnel. So there are some issues that we really do need to resolve, but I hope that you would be at the table when we do. Union would appreciate the invite. Thank you. Already, uh, I'm sure Commissioner Baker McCormick will uh, work closely with you as she chairs that um, subcommittee or special yes. committee. Thank you. Um, I always um, um, think our veterans should come um, first and we need to give them the full service they deserve. What, thank you, I did make this special um, um, time for you so you would feel like uh, you are being heard and I hope that we do more of these from time to time. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Uh, anything by members, other such matters? Yes, Madam Chair, this is Commissioner Baker McCormick. Yes. Uh, I just wanted to ask the administration in reference to the Dropbox resolution that was uh, supported, um, I guess that was about three, four weeks ago, uh, what uh, is the status on providing the, the funding for it, the resolution for appropriation of the 100,000. Um, I have received uh, many calls from clerks around the county that are interested in the drop boxes, especially because of the number of absentee voters uh, that have, has increased. And we know that in the November election, we will have uh, uh, record numbers of absentee voters. So these drop boxes are really important right now. And I just want to get some clarification on uh, when we will receive the uh, resolution for appropriations. I do know that the personnel direct, uh, I'm sorry, not the personnel, uh, the, um, uh, our purchasing director was looking into the process. It wouldn't, I, I would presume that it would have to be purchased by Wayne County and then taken to those locations because otherwise giving, um, contracts for these kinds of things to each individual um, cities or townships would be a nightmare that um, we probably don't want to go down on uh, that street. So, uh, is, yes, anybody so here, is anybody here from the administration? Uh, is Khalil, are you still on the line? Yes, Madam Chair, I am. And I think you are correct. And I know that, uh, you know, I have, because I was out for some time, I, I put we're very sorry too. I, I I should mention we're very sorry about your mom's passing. I know that uh, she was a wonderful lady. Thank you, and my family really appreciated the resolution. So thank you to everybody for that. But um, in regards to the drop boxes, I know I, I connected uh, Commissioner Baker McCormick with Aaron Wagner, the procurement director. And if I remember the last correspondence, Aaron was trying to get pricing and trying to compare the models. And I'm not sure what happened after that. I think he may have to check, you know, with, you know, somebody to see if, if, if the appropriate model is what the clerks are looking for. And I think he was trying to work that out before he made any purchases. I think uh, because we saw all of the people trying to get into the clerk's offices, uh, um, in this particular election and with the post office uh, being uh, underserved, uh, understaffed, we should say, um, I think it's very, very important. So really what we need is a formal commitment that we're going to do this. I think that's what Commissioner Baker McCormick is looking for. 
Yes, that's correct, Madam Chair. Um, for the general maybe, election. Yes. Yeah. And, and that would, from, from my understanding, would be um, a resolution that talks to the funding of it or appropriation. Um, when I spoke with Mr. Wagner, um, he did indicate that he was looking at pricing, but when I asked about appropriating the dollars, that's kind of where the conversation stopped. Well, so, his job is not to look to just to clarify. They, their, his job is not really. Uh, his job is really to find the best possible uh, yeah. uh, item, and we worry. Khalil will worry about the budget, and he will send us the budget adjustment for it. Am I right? And I can I can say this, you know, if we didn't recognize that it was important to the commissioners, if we didn't recognize that it was an, a real issue, we wouldn't have the procurement director doing this kind of work. Thank you. I thought so. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll follow up with the purchasing director, if you don't mind, uh, Khalil, to see how he's doing. Um, and uh, and we'll let... Um, We'll get a report back on it, but I'm, I'm sure it will get done. And Madam Chair, I just want to say I, I do understand that you are working on it, and I appreciate the work that the, the administration is doing. Um, I'm just trying to stay on top of it because the election is right around the corner, and I know that it's vitally important that we have these boxes in place by then. So... Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's all, imp I think it's very important to all of us. So uh, uh, consider yourself uh, in good company. Uh, any other such matters? Okay, I hear none. Uh, Mr. Rahal, is there anything that you need to let us know about the budget or anything else that from your perspective? Just that, you know, uh, obviously we are you know, uh, recognize that it's late. We are working very, very hard on it. You all know we brought back Kevin Haney um, yes. to help with the process. Um, you know, as I've discussed with, with several of the commissioners, you know, we are submitting the budget in pieces to give you all as much time as possible. Please forgive the, the mini tardiness on it. Obviously there's a pandemic. Obviously there's a Supreme Court case that was just discussed. Obviously, Republicans and Democrats are still discussing things in Washington where we seem to see some movement on, but no, no, you know, uh, finality to. Um, and so it's going to be a very uh, up and down, um, you know, flexible, movable budget. Uh, but we're, we're trying to get you the rest of the budget. So you got the chargeback units. I believe they were submitted yesterday. Um, and I think the rest of them will be submitted in the next couple of weeks. And we will take questions on the chargeback units, you know, even, you know, as soon as you have them. And we will try to respond to those questions as soon as possible. So we ask for your patience. We, we ask you to be flexible with us. Um, you know, obviously, you know, in some of the budget cuts, you know, as the administration cut with from within, uh, you know, people in MMB were cut. And so, you know, we, we recognize that, um, you know, that, that this is going to be a, a, a different year. I will say that it's a different year for just about every government that's going through this, but uh, certainly our goal is to still um, have a, a, an approved budget, hopefully with you all, uh, you know, by September 30th. Because our budget is a living document, we can move monies around uh, anytime if we agree to, uh, uh, to do it with eight votes. Um, so I know it's going to be fluid and changes may have to be made according to what the federal and the state government does. Um, I know that um, we're gonna be very patient, but uh, very diligent in doing our work as well. So I appreciate getting them um, even at piecemealing department by department as you get done, because at least our staff can start doing their uh, um, looking at it to see if, uh, well, their analysis on it. Yep. And um, so we appreciate uh, all of that and we are going to work with you in, in trying to get this done. 
And for the commissioners who are on this committee, if you have some burning issues regarding the budget and what is your priorities, you need to let us know uh, with an email uh, to me or the clerk and uh, I will forward that as well. Realizing that we are going to be in a pinch. So I'm looking forward to uh, working together as closely as we can, but we are going to have to resolve it um, by the end of uh, September or so, um, or ASAP as we get it. Yep. But we do realize that even if, after we pass the budget, there may be some budget adjustments afterwards. So we do feel your pain, Khalil. Hmm. Commissioners, anybody wants to add to what I just said? Okay. Um, next item. Item G. I mean, on item G, public comments. Okay. Could you please unmute everyone? Everyone has been unmuted. Thank you. If you are self muted, um, in wishing to speak, please check your uh, device to make sure you're unmuted. And that, um, now we can pro proceed. Anyone in the public wishing to comment, please state your name and begin to talk. Anyone in the public wishing to comment? Well, I have my hand raised. This is President Buffington of Ask Me 1659 once again. Yes. Uh, you all indicated that uh, you didn't have um, any business that was unfinished. I still never received a response from three meetings ago in regards to the $180 million that was allocated for the COVID-19 money that um, I guess Mr. Khalil or whomever needed to answer you all as to how the money was going to be distributed. You guys were hiring staff to take temperatures at the building, which has had, which has occurred now. I have nurses from the Whale Path Authority, that is a portion of the contract workers under 1659, that have been laid off, that were commissionable to do the job. We were never contacted. We still haven't been told how the money was allocated and none of the employees that were laid off were given any contact in regards to being hired for those positions. I will try to get an answer. Um, this is uh, just public comment, so um, duly noted. Anyone else from the public wishing to comment? Anyone from the public wishing to comment? Also, if you are listening and also for you uh, who just spoke, my office number is 313-224-0886. Please feel free to contact me. My email address is iavarga at waynecounty.com and I will try to get answers to your questions and this goes for anybody listening. Thank you. Anyone else from the public wishing to comment? I hear none. Last time, anyone from the public wishing to comment? Do we have any emails, Madam Clerk? I have received no emails. Okay. Um, and I don't see anyone else in the chat. In that case, next item. Item H adjournment. It's H been moved by Commissioner Anderson, supported by Commissioner Scott. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed to adjourning? We're adjourned. Thank you.